Welcome to the next part of this exercise. So and continuing with the designing of the reinforcement steel for this reinforced concrete beam, we have been observing some of the available tools for both directly modifying its design, and establishing some configuration criteria. In any case, and regarding these particular tools, and their corresponding configuration panels, these provide the parameters that will be used by the program, for designing the required reinforcement steel. Meaning that these tools, won't determine the exact design of the resultant reinforcement steel, but a series of guidelines for the program to produce its final design. Here we have then the corresponding detail drawing of the reinforcement steel. And in which we can clearly see all the details of its design. Including the number and particular distribution of the bars, hooks and stirrups. Moreover, the grade of the multiple bars being used. And at this point worth noting, that since we didn't obtain any warning or error messages during the calculation phase, we may conclude that this present design is actually correct and within the safety limits. Nevertheless, and for making a correct assessment, we need to take a look at the actual diagrams and calculation note of this design. Thus let's go ahead, and return to the previous interface. Or that of the reinforcement. So and back in this area, let's begin by taking a look at the diagrams of this beam.